Hello, Monsters of Banhin, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 25 of my Scarbrand campaign where I think we're just gonna kill Kislev um, and then call it a day because hacking my way through a million Cathay armies does not, especially through the mountains. I could go north, but uh, it just, just seems like a lot of, a lot of work. I did have a plan to maybe try and spawn uh, Scarbrand in the back line here, but uh, I think I might just kill Kislev and just go, well, you know, good enough. Um, so, also I want to kill Manfred because he's probably down there somewhere and I do want to kick his little bald head in. Good. Scarbrand. Now, uh, there is, there is a little Kislev settlement over here, so you can meander this direction. In fact, do we have, do we have, speed you up a little bit. We can attack you with an army. Just walk over them. That gives you some more movement range. Come on, get over here, you big lug. Atta boy. And we can do that. And that makes you... Wow, is that it? Is that fucking it? Is that all the bonus you get? That's fucking nothing. That's ab such a waste. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, what a waste. Never mind. Right, we're going to kill this little Kislev settlement over here. Hulk Hogan is still busy. Yes, indeed. There's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of people there to kill, but hopefully we're cutting off their reinforcements with any luck. I mean, they've still got a lot of reinforcements, but Steve... St Steve Cold Stone Austin? Nope, that's the wrong way around. Stone Cold Steve Austin. There we go. Uh, is... He's, he's, he's on the... He's on the move. He's on the move. Look at that. Look at him go. Look at him go. Why did you get some skill points? I mean, I don't mind. That is... That is generally how it goes. Yes. Get some maim in there as well. Why not? And we've got an ambush stance here to try and lure some armies in. There's like three, three. Is this Miao Ying? Which of these? The Western provinces. That's no, that's Zhao Ming. Miao Ying, Zhao Ming. There we go. Uh, good. Oh god, so much shit here. Oh, the Undertaker's back. Oh, good. I will drive them harder. Well, don't don't get them too hard. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Buildy bokey. Anything else to do? Uh, upgrades. Yes. Bloodhaven. What a lovely name. Just, a, just, just like a Haven Holiday Park, isn't it? Probably similar clientele. Uh, gem mining. Yeah, sure. I guess this stuff. Uh, we lost. We lost the dog Dolken. That one. They raised it apparently. All right. Fair enough. You do you. Doesn't particularly bother me massively overall. Um, we were thinking about maybe taking on Kislev. Not Kislev. Alt North. That's that's the word. So I move these guys over here. We might take it. Probably won't. Never mind. Not really a massive problem. We're taking Roche there. And Foundry of Skulls. Something like that. What do I like here? Uh, we got that one. We got all, most of these. I guess more income's a good thing. Get some more lads. Why not? Uh, damaged buildings, which I don't really care about, to be honest, so I think we'll leave them for the moment. And we've got Glor Flinch, who's currently meandering his way down here through the, the multiple stacks of my allies who are doing fuck all to help me. Oh. Military access. No. 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 I don't want to be your friend. I think what I'll do next is I might play, I might use the Grimhammer mods and play some Nurgle. Something like that. Oh, we got the Blade of Corn. That's good. Where the fuck is everyone? Okay, oh, you're marching. I can't reach you. I can't reach, but what about you? Can you reach? Yes, you can. 
Yes, you can. And you're marching. No. Disembowered. Oh, crap. My will does not bend. Well, it's unlikely that they can. I mean, you can reach me. Uh, you might be able to reach me. Probably can. Does it matter? Should I just fight them all? May as well. Absolute worst case, they, they kill everyone. That's that's worst case. I'm just going to continue the siege. As we bring our secondary force down here to take them roughly from behind. Crack a drag. Oh, you, you rebelled, did you? Had a little rebellion. Never mind. Hello. Chan. Ch My god. Th three. Three fucking terracotta sentinels. That. That is a f fucking intervention right there. What am I going to do about that? Your Highness Snow Peaks, it's like all the cannons aiming for Hulk Hogan, but Hulk Hogan doing the he's doing the not 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 Bran. Who's the other one? Um The the youngest kid from Game of Thrones, Winterfell. What the fuck are they called? Can't remember, not important. Anyway, he's dodging and weaving like the kid should have done. But he didn't. But uh Hulk Hogan knows better, apart from that that he did take a couple of cannonballs to face them, but uh that's fine. He'll walk that off. We do have flesh hounds coming in from behind, giving the terracotta soldiers the runaround. And we have our flamer, which is fantastic. Uh, this guy, now, previously the exalted flamers were just worse than the normal flamers, but now they've got like extra range. And so they can really like, ooh, nasty. Ooh, nasty. Fantastic. So lighting up the cafe boys. Getting some good kills there, up to 30 kills, not bad. And then the Exalted Bloodletters charging in. Probably set fire to a few Exalted Bloodletters, but never mind. Hey, never mind. Right, the four Terracotta Sentinels are going to be a bit of a problem. Mostly because they're going to be a pain in the ass to kill. I'm not particularly worried about them. They're just, they're, because they're unbreakable and they've got a shit ton of health and armor and melee defense, it's it's just a pain in the ass actually trying to kill them. Anyway, we're continuing to rampage through the, uh, the cafe flanks, as per usual. Locking down those missile units ASAP and then just killing everyone else. They can't win a melee engagement against us. But it's very hard to keep us at arm's length for very long. Because we do tend to just charge in and start chopping people up. So now, realistically, we've just got Terracotta Sentinel. I think everyone else is pretty much done for. We're trying to set fire to Chan Zhang. She is not... Um, she's refusing to be set on fire, though. Taking a little bit of damage, but not enough. So now we just need to basically blob the Terracotta Sentinels. And finish them off. Hulk Hogan probably going to do the most damage there. With any luck, he can... I mean, you know, all of our boys should do some damage. They've all got armor-piercing attacks, so it's generally fine. One's almost down. And then we've got th fucking three more. Ugh. All right, Terracotta Sentinel is down. Hulk Hogan is in the air, and he's going to chase down Chan Zhang. And hopefully finish her off. But it does look like we've got a little flame. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Flamey attack. Oh, this is going to sting. Doesn't look like it was overcast. If it was overcast, that would have hurt a lot more. Does the AI overcast? Can they overcast? As it is, just leaves our blood letters and minotaurs gently charred. Seared, maybe. Seared. Uh, but fortunately, the enemy general is now running away. It's just a case of mopping up those last terracotta sentinels. Which is just more annoyance than anything else, really.
Duh, Hulk Hogan just knocking out of the park once again. Holy shit, what a boy. What a fucking boy. Now, how many armies do we do we have down here? Is it too many? No slave. The Ice Queen bows to no one. I reckon we can take him. You know. Let's give you missile resistance. And let's give you immortality at level 26. Probably probably a good idea. So, okay. Do, how, uh, the problem is, if we attack... God, it will give you more movement range. So it's not necessarily a huge problem. Okay. I bow okay. Let's... Oh, maybe we can't... Maybe we can't attack them. It looks like it's going to use all... Oh, is it because... It, I think we're being blocked. So we can't actually use the river crossing, so we'd have to cross the river, which would use all of our movement. So, let us pull back. I was going to go for the attack, but uh, it, we, we, we literally can't reach them. So that's unfortunate. Scarbrand... No, that's, that's not Scarbrand. That's Scarbrand. There he is. There's my boy. Okay, let's lay a little siege there. Lay a little siege for me. And you can come in to help. I mean... This... It says close defeat. It says close defeat. It's gonna take two. I'm I'm tempted to just say let's go for it. Like worst case, everyone dies. But can I be bothered? I think I think it's worth a punt. Mind you, it won't turn up for like two minutes. It's a long fucking time, isn't it? It's a long fucking time. How long before you start taking damage? Uh, one turn, three turns. It's not ideal. Maybe we do a little bit of attrition damage to them. Don't need a fucking man. Um, if we if we do something like that and see what happens, I don't I don't know if that's if that's viable. Whether we will actually you know do anything, but give it a punt. See what happens. Maybe maybe it'll, you know maybe maybe we'll take Altdorf. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just cause some chaos. Maybe we can get... Scrag! Get the fuck over here, useless twat. Come and help me. It's the very least you can do. At a minimum. Skull crushers repel the honorless. Yeah. Because Corn is apparently the god of, like, honor and shit, but... Realist, I, I know people can go, oh, no, but he's, he's more than just butchery and murder. And it's like, well, I think to begin with he was, but now Games Workshop have gone for the basically he just, he's piling up skulls, isn't he? He doesn't really care. Um, there's sort of like a vague kind of on a bit there, but he doesn't really give a shit, to be brutally honest. Skulls collected from skull piles, no, blood host, plus one units. Uh. Pfft. 40 skulls per turn. Uh, okay. Not that I need more skulls, but... But, you know. Right, can we, mar can we march you closer? Can't quite reach, but it's it's close. They may, at they may try and attack back, in which case we retreat, and then we'll deal with them. A little bit concerned that they may decide to just throw everything at us here. But at least then they'll attack us. I think they just think they're going to do it with like three stacks, because I think they have three. They could they could march several. Mind you, if they march, they'll be tired. They'll be tuckered out, won't they? Which uh, might make our job easier. They are attacking. I am going. Ah, oh, fuck! I don't care. Yeah. Fuck me. They they didn't they didn't attack. 
I honestly thought we might be in trouble there, but they're just like not they're not worried. It's just not bothered. You're ambushing up there. Okay, well that's not really gonna affect my life in any way, shape, or form. You're trying to sneak past me, aren't you? You little shits. Which is really quite annoying. I am no one's slave. That's really quite annoying. Um, Power of Karak is under siege. Oh yeah. Only one I listen to I've forgotten about them. No, apparently we've, re we've retaken that settlement. Okay, well, these guys have come across the river, which is going to make our life a little bit easier. What I'm actually going to do is come over here. I'm going to come over here. And then we're going to attack down here. I'm hoping that means that Kislev army will attack from our flank and we can just wipe them out nice and easily. That's the dream. Well, I'm not entirely sure that was super sensible, but sure, why not? Shoot your own units. Far be it from me to stop you. To be fair, I've shot my own units with rockets a lot, so... You know, I've, I've been there. Not a good idea to shoot a bloodthirster with with rockets. It's not really going to do very much, but we're going to land in amongst the enemy... Mis well, actually, we're going to jump the Lord Magistrate there and uh, remove his head. Come back here, you little shits. I'm not finished with you. Wow, he lost a lot of health in one hit. He is not having a good day. Hulk Hogan has just been taking apart the cafe forces, bit by bit. And it's not going to stop now. We have some Kislev reinforcements, but on this map, they're coming up this little path here, which is perfect because they'll spawn in basically one unit at a time. It's a nightmare when they come in from that direction. Alright, it's a nightmare when you come in from that. If you've got reinforcements and they're coming in from that direction, it's a fucking nightmare. It's amazing how we can sort of, like, tie up most of their army while half of ours is still arriving at the actual battle. Hulk Hogan taking out that junk. He's already killed the enemy general. That guy went down like a sack of shit. Enemy reinforcements are now arriving on the battlefield. We can see they've got uh, Frodo. Oh, Mr. Frodo! And uh, Zarina Catherine. What the fuck was that accent? That that wasn't that wasn't Sam. Or was it? Who knows? Um, let's drop a sword on their heads. Yeah! Fuck you! Sawn just cut Sawn? Corn just dropped his dinner knife. Went off. Oh, Where's that gone? That's why you never find them. They've just dropped magically on the heads of some tiny little people. Alright, we need to uh, light that. They really do not like the Exalted Flamer. They're like, nope, get get the fuck out of here. Unfortunately for them, our Minotaurs are kind of freed up. Hulk Hogan also freed up. Now he's taken out the, uh, the junk. Looking at all that junk inside your trunk. And the very, very cheap ice ice guards have clustered around the uh, the reinforcement incoming point, which means that uh, they're trapped. They've basically trapped themselves. You played yourselves, ladies. Wish. Yeah, have a wild time. Jesus, we've still got so many stacks. I mean, I know I keep saying it, but fuck me. So many stacks of cafe. You kill one lot, and more just come streaming out of the woodwork. Alright, let's... Really? 
Valiant defeats. Are you sure? Are we looking at the same thing? A valiant defeat and yet you're not going to kill my entire... How the fuck does that work? What? What? <sighs> oh, we got our... Minor tools with two-handed weapons. They should be pretty good. They're anti-large. They're basically the same as the normal minor tools, just anti-large. Which is still fine. Bloodthirst is moving in to jump on the Celestial Dragon Crossbowman because they do a shit ton of damage. And I don't want them doing very much damage to me, so we're putting a stop to them almost immediately to cover our advance. Because it's the garrison. I mean, I, I don't... It, it should be an easy auto resolve, but apparently it, it wants to kill us. I disagree that that is... So they're going to manage that, but still. It's still a nasty garrison. They, they do have, like, the Celestial Dragon Guards, a couple of units of them. They've got the crossbows as well. They're quite nasty. They've got a fucking Sky Junk artillery. They've got a Terracotta Sentinel. I mean, it's quite a nasty garrison, to be fair. It's like the Skull Cannons trading fire with the Sky Junk. So we try to force our way into the settlements. Down the gates go. And we're in. Now, I've got this Hydra Head ability. I've never used it before. But apparently what it does is it creates like a, an effect around, around Steve. Which I didn't realise when I did it. Which means a lot of my minor tools are about to get singed. Because I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to what it was doing. Um, so, that's not ideal. But, you know... It, it is what it is. Never mind. We can... Uh, we, we learn. We, we've learned all that does now. So we know what that does. And that's all fine. We have our Soul Grinder. He's got a sword that reminds me of the Warrior Epic from EverQuest. Which I had. Not to boast. But uh, had that one. But getting the help from the Pain of Air was such a fucking ball lake. Oh, it's a bloody nightmare. All right, we've murdered our way through the vast majority of the enemy garrison. Uh, they don't have much left. Some Jade Warrior crossbowmen returning to the fight just long enough to get murdered by Minotaurs. Some Jade Lancers apparently also want to follow, follow an example and get murdered as well. So quickly being dispatched. How we doing? Two, three, two. Not, not very much. The Soul Grinder jumping up and down on the Jade Warriors. Soul Grinder is a bit of a weird choice of fantasy, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit Doom, isn't it? Like that demon, robot sort of crossover. I don't know how. I, I quite. I mean, I kind of like it. Jesus, didn't know you had like laser mouth. Is that laser mouth? Was that a laser in your mouth? It's some mood. I guess we're going to have a laser anywhere. Mouth is the best place for it. Eyes is the obvious one, but to be honest, would you really want laser eyes? Realistically, that's it's not going to be... I mean, to be honest, laser mouth is also going to be... Ideally, you want some sort of actual laser that you can hold and fire. Having one directly in your mouth seems like you're going to get you know, you're going to get get through a lot of toothbrushes that way aren't you dental hygiene is going to be very tricky okay well it looks like the vast majority of the enemy army is now dead just need to chop up the uh, the astromancer here and deal with his little terracotta sentinel friends the sky junk is down I think it's just these two left to deal with, isn't it? Oh, there's 70, apparently, but I think that's because some units haven't run away properly yet. Yeah, they're not shattered. So it still counts them, but yeah, otherwise it's just these two guys left. So I need to get everyone up here to finish them off. So that's going to take a little while, but yeah, certainly not the... Was it Valiant Defeat? Victory. 
I mean, to be fair, that is a nasty garrison. It's just not... It's not that nice. Ooh, 56k. I don't really need it. I'm going to take it for myself. So what we got? Um, that is fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, I can't reach you there. And you're gonna, you're, you're playing, you're, you're being silly buggers, aren't you? All right, tell you what, go and grab that one. And then maybe if we come over here, you'll decide to try and jump us. Maybe. Okay, you guys. Now, I'm tempted to, because, uh, I mean, you're, you're taking, they're taking damage there, so if we just keep sieging them till we get some siege towers, that'll give us a little bit of cover. We are taking some attrition ourselves, though, which is a little bit of a problem, but I'm willing to accept that for the moment. Jake the Snake is going to get more cleave. Edge is getting the real lifts and separates people's heads. Let's get some armor. What else? Steve Austin. You can be maim. Let's do something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Good job. Good job doing the whole killy thing. That was, that was good work. Top, top work. Good stuff. Okay, we'll upgrade you. Is there any point upgrade? Wait, why am I upgrading this settlement? There's literally no point. Like, we took it because they raised it, but realistically, we're not... It, we're not going to keep it, are we? Considering the fact that there's several enemy armies there. Also, I forgot to move Scarbrand, but that's okay. He's, he's, he's making his way over. He's fine. No, he doesn't. We d we're not. We're not listening. It's not good to talk. Gore flinch. Fuck's sake. Oh, oh, look at this. Suddenly, armies start to cluster around. But I don't think there's anyone there. Is this part of this? It is part. Um, I might give you just one turn to recover there. Scarbrands. Oh look, there's a there's an army here. There's an army here and a settlement. Scarbrand, I know you do, mate. I I know you do, and I'm with you on that. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Four fucking stacks. That's the ones we can see. They've got another one up here. Uh, is that another one there as well? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Fuck's sake. All right, well, at least Ted's doing something. That's good. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna clean up Kislev. They've only got, like, four settlements left. So... Steve Austin... Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Gestaltin. You absolute maniac. Why the fuck have you got a bear? You don't have it. Oh my god, there's two more. F How many? So you've got four here, you've got two more there, and we know you've got at least two here. Plus another half stack there. I, I could get another army. It's, it's just that I don't, I don't want to fight the same fight. 50 odd fucking times. That's the only issue. So let's come down here to Wurzen. And let's kill a lot of squishy humans. I mean, at least these humans are sort of beardy. The Cathayans aren't really have the beards. I mean, some of them, well, Zhao Ming has a beard. I don't think of anyone else. And they're all clean shaven. Not the Empire, though. They're a bunch of big, hairy boys. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.